there have been, of course, within that transformation, some uh, inflection points, I would say, uh, some, particular, uh, some particular moments of uh, salience. Uh, I would uh, describe the Article 370 uh, decision as one of them. Uh, I think what has changed on our borders with China is another. Uh, the uh, the uh, whole neighborhood, uh, in fact, uh, I, I tried to explain that there's really a new construct uh, of foreign policy uh, that has come into making. And of course, since uh, I am in politics, uh, and many of you certainly follow politics, uh, we also are experiencing in many ways uh, the, the, uh, the attacks from beyond our borders, uh, which are often ideological uh, and agenda driven. So how I have presented this book is, I have tried to first explain the global landscape. And then uh, I have tried also to make the average person, the average reader, understand why foreign policy is important to them personally. That it's not something that you watch on the YouTube or you follow the news or you pick up a nice book like this one. Uh, it is something which impacts your well-being sometimes your existence. We saw that during COVID, uh, not just the manner in which COVID came, but also the, the remedies that, and the mitigation that we had to go around the world and which we also contributed to the rest of the world. Uh, we have seen it in, um, in different operations that we've had to do. I mean, if you look at the last 10 years, there's been almost every year a significant uh, operation where uh, India has committed its resources. Uh, and we see it in very uh, practical, uh, practical choices we make. Choices which will determine what is the price of fuel or the price of food or the price of fertilizer uh, in this country. Now, it's very clear that the world is unsettled. You saw that uh, very graphic uh, picture of that. Uh, there's a more wordy description in one of my chapters. And then I, of course, spell out the changes uh, of the last decade. What has particularly, you know, where has Indian foreign policy changed? Why has it changed? What are the thought processes uh, behind that? In that sense, really, what is the impact which Prime Minister Modi uh, has made uh, on foreign policy? 